How's it going? Welcome back to the daily vlog. So here we are again. We are here. We're here at the house that I do a lot of weekend work and uh, they're gonna be out of town next weekend. So I'll actually get a weekend off. I might go to my brother's house and work on uh, his staircase. I've been also working on his steps in my free time, I'm completely, have pretty much had to rebuild them from scratch. And now I've got them all, the nosings glued on and everything like that. I'm ready to actually put some stair rods and vinyl plank on them, finally. So next weekend, I might do that. Anyway, this is what we got going on today. Just one simple room again. We are getting rid of this Berber and putting in some some of the carpets that I've just been working on the past few weekends, the grayish blue, really nice thick carpet. So I think I'm gonna start cutting this up and getting to work. These are the steps that I did last weekend and I wasn't able to get any footage on last weekend because it was running kind of close on time there. But anyway, that's them, they're about eight foot long. Turned out, everything turned out pretty good. Um, I hot glued all this stuff. There ain't no staples anywhere on this edge. Everything is hot glued so you don't see any dimples or anything. Everything turns out really nice whenever you can use the hot glue. Alrighty, we got the floor like we want it. Back down to a blank surface. No pad, tack strip staples, or anything like that. Previous installer didn't even have any tack strip around the door jams. There was nothing here on this part, only here. I don't know what to do with that was, but, and we are using Eagle Talon tack strip as a 4031. Check this out. Isaiah 4031, Eagle Talon, Isaiah 4031, 4031, 4031. This is some super quality tack strip. It has more nails in it than the average box store tack strip. When I say nails, I mean pins that actually grab the carpet. They're more they're not spaced out so far or staggered out so far. I can't remember the exact count of how many is in it, but just take my word, there is more, more pins in this than your average strip. This is very good. All right, this room is a 13, 13 by 15, this direction, so. I run it this way, cut me two 13 footers. The closet is 10 foot, I don't cut that. Six by 10 right there, it's gonna be a head seam in that doorway. My 12 foot's gonna come over somewhere right in here. Let me measure that, I'm not particularly fond of it meeting right in the doorway. Let's see what happens. Alrighty, so as you can see from the hardwood over to Dead center, it is 12 foot dead center of the hallway. So, I'll tell you what I'm probably gonna do. I ran it this direction so I could get both, I could get my field piece here in one piece without having a huge amount of waste. So what I'll probably do is go ahead and bring it over and put my seam right about here somewhere. It's gonna get it about a foot and a half away from the edge of it, so. Uh, as a matter of fact, while I got it outside, I'll probably go ahead and cut a foot off the edge of that. Just because I'm by myself today and that's going to lighten it up a little bit for bringing them up them steps there. So, I got a complete other 6 by 13 out there. That's going to give me, uh, we'll just say from 10 to 15, that's going to give me another 5, uh, plenty, plenty to deal with because I got a 6 by 13 out there. So that is what I'm whittling away a little bit by little bit. Every weekend I'm taking a little chunk off of it and putting it in the house. 
change this come off from the 6x13 I just carried up. Now it is a 6x10 upstairs. Right here is the rest of my 6x13, which will do the film better. Since I'm, I will need the whole thing since I'm scooting it over past the doorway. And obviously this is my field piece right here. All right, got this bad boy bent over, cut down to 10 foot, 11 foot, bent over, strapped down with the bungee. Everybody needs to have uh, a random length set of bungees. You never know, they're coming handy all the time. I'm fixing to set that bad boy right here on this dolly. That way I can wheel it way up there to the house instead of carrying it all that way. When I get up there by the van, then I'll put it on my back and carry it up. Okay, got it rolled out, halfway lined up. I ain't done no measuring or row cut this yet, but as you can see where my seam is gonna fall, ka -ka, it's gonna be perfect. this off first stretched it up to it with the knee list and tied that off all the way to there I tucked it all the way around to there even on the inside of the casing right there made my stretches over to the hardwood right there you can see how much I did about four foot maybe stretched all that back with the knee list got it all tied off and now fixing to make all my stretches this way Okay, so what I've done, I have stretched this complete wall up. I took my knee list and started where it was tied off and stretched everything up there. Now that I have those two walls tied off, I have one wall left to finish up. I'm fixing a stretch, boop, 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 right there. I'll be done with the square part, then I'll jump in the closet. Okay, so because this is a dense, thick carpet, I'm gonna use my stretchers in this closet. Rather than the nailless, you can see what I got going on here. I'll tie it off here. Here, I got my board. I'm going to stretch that way. After I get my length stretches a couple times, I'll take that, slice it straight back, and then fold it over in that cubby and fold it over in that cubby, and then stretch crossways. Okay. We are da 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 Dun, 
dun dun. Chicka dun dun. Chicka chicka dun dun. Dun dun chicky dun dun chicky chicky dun dun chick chicky dun 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 Okay, Lee, Doki Lee, Artie Chokity. We are done on a Saturday afternoon. It is 3.01. Got that bedroom done up. No big rush. So super awesome people to deal with every Saturday. I really love that. Like I said earlier, though, they're gonna be out of town next weekend. So maybe, just maybe, I might go to my brother's house and work on some vinyl playing steps. We'll see what goes on. I don't know, it's been so long since I had a Saturday off, I might just take off. What about it? Anyway, thank you guys for tuning in to the Daily Vlog once again. Until next time, FBSB's out.